Hi there. Welcome to today's 30 minute yoga class. Today we're going to do something a little bit different and we're going to introduce one of my other loves, which is astrology, in with our yoga class. Today we're going to do a flow that is suited for those that have strong Gemini in their birth chart. So this could be if your zodiac or your sun sign is a Gemini, but it could also mean if you have your rising sign or your moon sign in Gemini that this would be a perfect flow for you. The way we're going to approach the flow today is twofold. We're going to embrace the characteristics and the things that Gemini is naturally good at. And at the same time, we're going to take a look at how we can incorporate and bring in a little bit of the things that don't come so easily to Gemini's, but perhaps will really help them out. For example, Gemini's tend to lack focus sometimes. So today's class is going to be centered around balancing poses, which really requires for us to focus both physically with where we're looking, but also internally. Gemini sometimes need a little bit of help listening. So therefore, today's flow is going to be quite complex. We're going to be changing directions, which way we're facing on the mat in order to make sure you really stay open-minded and listening to what's happening in the class. And finally, Gemini's love movement, and we should not shy away from that. I really don't want to force Gemini's to deny that part of themselves and, and make a class that's a bit more calm and slow. Instead, this is going to be a quite a fast-paced class. We're going to move quite a bit. We're going to start with the breathing exercise that gets some of that movement out of our body. And hopefully with that, it will allow us, help us to focus through the rest of the class. So that's enough talking for today. Let's get started. So go ahead and stand in the center of the mat. We'll begin with our breathing exercise. And this is a three part breath, which means we're gonna inhale three times and exhale once. In addition, there are some movements with each breath. So we're gonna do one inhale, arms up. Second inhale, arms out. Third inhale, arms up. And then finally, bend over and exhale. And we're gonna do this quite fast. So inhale, 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 exhale. The exhale is also out of your mouth. The inhales are through your nose. So let's go ahead and get started. one here. Go ahead and bring your shoulders on top of your hips, on top of your ankles. Just close your eyes for a minute and notice what that breath and movement has done to your body. For me, I feel like Every single fiber of my being is awake. I feel the blood pumping and tingling. Notice how your mind feels after that exercise as well. Does it perhaps feel a little bit more restful and ready for the challenging flow ahead of us. Go ahead and open your eyes. Shift your weight to your left foot. Pick up the right and step it behind the, and to the outside of the left foot. Right arm goes up to the ceiling. Left arm 
circles around the right wrist and pulls it over to the left side of the room. Just be feeling this stretch through the right side of your body. <laughs> it's okay if you fall out of balance. Go ahead and stack your head back on top of the hips. Let go of the arms and bring your right foot next to your left. Let's do the other side. Weight transfers to the right foot. Left foot behind and to the right side. This time left arm goes up towards the ceiling and we're feeling the stretch through the left side of our body. Gaze looks up, chest is opening up towards the ceiling. Whenever we need a focus and help in a balancing pose, the gaze really makes a difference. So pick one spot whenever we do a balancing pose today to really give your body that help it needs. Let go of the hands, unwind the feet. And let's come to sit down in a way that feels comfortable to us. I'm sitting on my sin, sitting on my shins. Feel free to sit cross-legged with a block under your hips. Start rolling your shoulders. <laughs> Feeling that movement. Perhaps going in the other direction. Good. And slowly we'll finish that off. Come to a still. Go ahead and bring your right ear to your right shoulder, giving a stretch to the left side of your neck here. Gently bring your head to line. And let's do the other side, left ear to the left shoulder. Come back to center and go ahead and do some neck rolls in whatever way feels comfortable for you. Whichever direction feels best. If you find a sensitive spot and want to hang out there, you can do that as well. Geminis can be quite a lot of times in their head. They are quite an intellectual sign that like to analyze things. It might be nice, this couple of movements, to really feel the physical part <laughs> of our head, our neck, our shoulders. And stop with the neck rolls for now. And let's come on our hands and our knees. Hands underneath the shoulders. Knees underneath the hips. Tuck your toes, pick up your knees off the mat and push your hips up and back. You're in this sort of inverted V shape or a downward facing dog. Pushing the mat actively away with your hands, sit bones working up towards the sky. Heels are working towards the mat. Look forward in between your hands and slowly walk your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, rise halfway up, hands go on the shin, straight back. Exhale, bend forward, collapsing your upper body over your hips. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms come up towards the ceiling. And exhale, hands come beside your side. Start to shift your weight into the left foot. 
pick up the right and place the right foot, uh, the sole of the foot, in the left thigh, coming into our tree pose here. You can stay where you are. I'll just switch so I can show you. Remember here what we talked about with our gaze. Find a point to focus on. The trick with balancing poses is also the countering action. While this right foot is pushing into the thigh, the thigh is also pushing back. And it's this sort of countering or opposite force that keeps us balanced in space. If one is too strong or one gives away, that's when we start to lose our balance. So here from our tree pose, gently start to bend your torso forward and shift that right leg back towards the mat, planting it down, placing the hands on the mat and bringing the left foot next to the right, coming into our plank pose. Lower down to your knees and go ahead and lower the whole body on the mat. Hands underneath the shoulders, elbows in, go ahead and pick up the front of your body, open up the chest, exhale, drop down, bend through your toes, and come back into downward facing dog. Look forward, bend into the knees, step the right foot in between the hands. We're gonna come up and pivot so that we're now facing towards the back of the mat. Left leg is now the front. Start to shift the weight into the left leg, picking up the right leg and coming back into our tree pose. Right sole of the foot pressing into the left thigh. Find where your eyes can rest. And gently peel off that foot and place it back on the mat. Let's do the other side. Weight goes into the right foot. Left foot into the right thigh. Gently as you peel off the left foot, start to bend forward. This time, left foot finds the back of the mat. Hands plant. Bring the right foot next to the left. Plank pose. Lower the knees and lower your whole body to the ground. Coming into our cobra. Elbows into the body. Inhale. Chest lifts off the mat. Exhale. Come back down. Tuck your toes and push back up into downward facing dog. Look forward, bend through the knees, left leg in between the hands. Rise up through your torso, start to shift the feet again to face the front of the mat. Bend into that right leg, start to shift all the way forward, coming to stand. Left foot into the right thigh. And we're back in our three pose where we started. Great, gently, let's lower that left foot. Weight shifts into the left foot again. Let's go again. We're gonna keep adding on. Three on the other side. Right sole of the foot into the left thigh. Gently bend forward. Send that right foot back towards the back of the mat, hands plant, both feet next to each other, plank pose. Lower the knees, come down to cobra. Shoulders together in cobra, chest opening up towards the front of the mat. Exhale, lower back down and push back up into downward facing dog. Bend through the knees, look in between the hands, right foot steps between the hands. This time we're going to go into our half moon pose. Start to transfer your foot into the right, sorry, transfer your weight into the right foot, lifting up the left foot off the mat and bring it in line with the floor. 
go ahead and keep the right hand on the mat if that feels comfortable for now and start to open up the side of your body the side of the room left hand extends up towards the sky again find a point to focus on with your gaze and feel here really those are posing forces that we talked about the front of the head is working towards the front of the room and this back sole of the foot at the same time is pushing towards the back of the room <laughs> my balance is a bit off today at the same time we've got our bottom leg pushing into the mat and our top arm our left arm working up towards the ceiling ready to gently plant that left foot let's rotate so now we're facing the back of the mat keep transferring the weight to the left foot pick up the right and come back into our tree pose think here about really lifting up through the crown of your head we're not sinking down into our hip lifting up through the crown and lower that right leg start to shift the weight into the right leg pick up the left foot tree pose on the left side as you exhale bend forward let's come slowly into our plank plant the left foot hands on the mat right foot meets the left Lower all the way down to the mat. With the inhale, peel the chest off. The tops of the feet and the hips press into the mat. Lower back down, tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. Look between the hands, left foot steps in between now. Coming into our half moon pose, begin to shift the weight into the left foot. Right foot is extending towards the back of the room. Sole of the foot is active. Right hand perhaps also begins to open up towards the ceiling. And the side of our body should also be opening up to the side of the room. Where is your gaze? Have you forgotten about it? Great. Gently plant that right foot back on the mat. Start to pivot. We're going back to the front of the mat. Peeling off that left foot and letting the left sole meet the right thigh yet again. Great. And let's slowly plant the left foot down. Got one more flow, and then we can come back down into our cool down. Shift the weight into the left foot, right foot tree pose. This time, peel off the right sole and reach down and grab maybe the shin, the outside of the foot. I like to grab my big toe of the right foot. And Start extending that left foot forward, pushing the sole out in front of you. Shoulders remain stacked on top of hips. Gently bend to that right foot. Slowly start to bend over and transition, planting the right foot at the back of the mat, planting the hands and coming back into our plank pose. Lower all the way down. Inhale, rise up in Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot in between the hands. Let's go again into our half moon. Weight transfers to the right foot. Right hand plants in front. Left hand up towards the ceiling. Left foot towards the back of the mat. Open up to the side of the room. Here, maybe you also want to play with bringing your gaze slowly up towards the ceiling. It does make the pose a little bit more challenging. Gently 
land that left foot in the back of the mat, swivel, this side, transfer your weight to the left, and coming back into our tree pose. Right sole of the foot into the left thigh. Place the right foot down. One more side to go. Left sole of the foot into the right thigh. Tree pose. Make sure you're not sinking into that right hip. Bring the knee up towards the sky. Reach down, grab a hold of your shin, ankle, maybe big toe. Start to extend and push that sole towards the back of the room. Or because we're facing now, maybe it's the front of the room. Actively push that right foot into the mat. Great. Gently bend to that left foot. Start to bend your toes forward. Planting the left foot, the back of the mat. Right foot comes to meet it. And lower all the way down. Cobra pose. And downward facing dog. Left foot in between the hands. Coming into our half moon pose. Right foot pushes towards the front of the mat. Right hand opens up towards the ceiling. Gaze is focused on one point. And gently bend into the front knee. Place the right foot down. Swivel. So now the right foot is the front one. Shift the weight forward. And let's come into our final three pose for today. Let's add a little extra challenge as a way to close off here. Bring your hands up towards the sky. This makes the balance a bit harder. See if you can also slowly start to bring your gaze up towards the sky. Great. And gently come out of that. Awesome job, we did it. Let's go into our pull down. Plant your feet at the top of the mat, wider than hip distance apart, toes facing out, and gently lower down into your yoga squats. Triceps are pushing into the thighs. Palms of the hands are forward, and here we're working our chest to the front of the room. And gently lower your bum all the way to the ground. Send your legs in front of you. I like to also grab the flesh of my bum and pull it out of the way. Pick up your right foot. We're going to place the sole of our foot on the outside of the left knee to come into our twist. Right hand comes behind us. Left arm wraps around the right knee. Go ahead and use that tension to twist to the right side of the mat. If your neck feels comfortable, you can even gaze behind you. Gently face the front of the mat. Unhook the foot and put it next to the left. Let's do the other side. Left sole of the foot on the outside of the right knee. Stand up tall. Left hand behind us. And this time the right hand wraps around the left knee. Two 
gently face forward, unravel your legs. We'll come into our forward fold here. Both legs are next to each other. We want our toes, our uh, feet to be quite active. So they're not kind of flying around, but they're really hugging in together and the, the feet are flaring. Go ahead and gently Go ahead and gently just lower over your legs. My idea is not here to go very far or something. Just allow yourself to relax into this pose. In the balancing class, you held on quite tightly, focusing mentally and physically. A lot of small muscles have to work together keep us up in balancing poses. Here, just think about relaxing and letting go into the poses. Gently walk yourself back up. So the shoulders are on top of the hips. Go ahead and lay all the way down the whole back of your body on the mat. This will be our final pose for today, Shavasana. Bring your feet out wide. And this time, just let them relax and flare out. Same with your hands next to the body, palms facing up. What I like to do here is tuck my chin, picking up my head and almost in a way dragging it so that my neck has a bit more extension here, a bit more space. Allow yourself to relax here, completely trusting that the surface underneath you is there to support you. There's no need to hold on to anything. Now we'll come back in a couple of minutes to bring us out of this pose.
gently begin to bring movement to your body. Moving your toes and your fingers, your ankles and your wrists. Roll over to one of your sides. And using your top hand, push yourself to a seat. Thank you for joining me for today's class. I really hope you enjoyed it. I definitely feel more focused, more centered after that, but still alert ready for some movement, ready for some action for the rest of the day. Of course, this flow is suited for anybody. It doesn't matter if you're a Gemini astrology sign or not. Thanks for joining me again, and I hope to see you again soon.